The Miss USA pageant, left without a TV home, following blowback against co-owner Donald Trump over his comments on Mexican immigrants, has been rescued by the Reels channel. Real CEO Stanny Hubbard said in a statement Thursday that the cable and satellite channel acquired the rights because of a belief that the pageant and the women who compete in it are an integral part of American tradition. As one of only a few independent networks, we decided to exercise our own voice and committed ourselves to bringing this pageant to American viewers everywhere, Hubbard said. While Reels, which reaches 70 million homes, said it considered the interests of Miss USA contestants, the host city of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and viewers in making its decision. It made no mention of Trump or the hot water he's found himself in since he announced his presidential bid in June. In an interview, Hubbard said the pageant is the issue, not Trump. He said the billionaire won't make any money off the telecast. I completely understand why millions of people were offended by what Donald Trump said. I think his comments were incredibly insensitive and wrong. I disagree with them completely and totally, Hubbard said, adding, I also believe this pageant is as non-political as an event can be. In his June presidential campaign announcement, Trump said that some Mexican immigrants to the U.S. bring drugs and crime, and some are rapists. NBC, Trump's partner in the Miss USA pageant, cited his comments when it cut business ties with him and dropped its pageant telecast. That left Miss USA adrift and created an opening for reals. Hubbard said the license fee negotiated with the pageant was well below market value for such event and so small that it won't put even a dent in the production costs shouldered by the pageant. He declined to specify the amount. The point is that people who were offended want to make sure he's Trump, not going to profit from our decision, and that won't happen, Hubbard said. Trump declined to comment on the Reels acquisition. The pageant also won't make money from commercial spots. Any revenue will go to Reels. Hubbard said it will be a scramble to sign advertisers both because of timing and the controversy surrounding the pageant. This isn't the first time Reels has gone its own way. When the History Channel dropped the Kennedys miniseries that had been made for it, saying it didn't fit its brand, Reels aired it in 2011 and was rewarded with record channel ratings and awards attention. Reel said the Miss USA pageant will be televised July 12th, its originally scheduled date on NBC. The pageant will have to scramble after a mass exodus of performers, hosts and judges who cited opposition to Trump's views as the reason. Hubbard said he's optimistic the telecast will be loaded with talent and heavy entertainment value, and said he'd prefer to see a Hispanic host. Rapper Flo Rita had been the highest-profile performer scheduled for Miss USA, and his representative confirmed Wednesday that he wouldn't perform. Country singer Craig Wayne Boyd, winner of The Voice last year, and pop singer Natalie LaRose also dropped out. There were no more announced performers. In a Miss USA news release last month, the judges were listed as HGTV star Jonathan Scott, country singer Jesse James Decker, E. News anchor Terrence Jenkins, TV host and former Miss Universe winner Saleko Rivera and Hall of Famer Emmett Smith.